my god, of course. Right now? I mean, like, uh, all the time. We're okay in the lab, but you're not even really okay. You're worse than okay. You can't tell from my picture, and I wasn't being, I wasn't very good. Uh, there were many times in my career when I felt inadequate, that I was not going to be able, that, that I was not up to the task. It happened to me especially during my PhD. When I first got into graduate school, I was so frightened, so... That has been a challenge for me ever since, because even now, when I am a charitable professor, it is hard for me to ask questions in seminars. And you can't help but feeling inadequate. Uh, everybody who tells you otherwise, uh, they're lying. And these negative things will happen, and you have to take a deep breath, learn from them, and adjust. I almost failed my first exam. Yeah, I was thinking about that time, and maybe I should change my career. By <laughs> default, are people that have to feel inadequate, because we are at the frontier of knowledge. And it's something I have to do every day. I have to think about it and I have to offset what happened to me in high school. And whether you're able to um, work and work hard uh, and, to, and to comprehend and, and you know, be open for new ideas. Uh, it requires many trials, trying new techniques, trying in many different ways. And by nature, we feel inadequate and we, we go through the process of self-doubt. So yes, you have to uh, persevere.